roll. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and welcome to my channel, and we're back for another Tag Tuesday. Got my cohort with me. We know who does these. Tracy over at Trials of a Long Hair Girl. She did a Valentine's edition this week. It is Valentine's edition, Would You Rather. You ready? Let's go for it. Quit looking. <laughs> Would you rather <laughs> get a lot of Valentines from people you don't know very well or get just one from someone who is special to you? One from somebody that's really special. No. That's what I, I say. Because if I get one, it's special. Yeah. Let me just tell you. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Receive Valentine's in email or receive handwritten Valentine's? Handwritten. Handwritten, yeah. Never. More personalized, yeah. Yeah. Number three, eat only red foods on Valentine's Day or eat only white foods on Valentine's Day. Mmm. <laughs> I'm picking red because I can have skinny and hot dogs. <laughs> Those are my two favorite things. Yeah, I'll take red because I can have strawberries. And... No, I thought you'd take white so you could have taters. Well, that'd be good too, yeah. <laughs> He's a tater man. Where are we at? Number four, spend Valentine's Day with your family or spend Valentine's Day with your friends? We don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> uh, That's us. Yeah. We're family and friends playing. <laughs> yeah, we got the bundle playing. <laughs> Is that your answer? Yeah. <laughs> um, number five. Get a Valentine's Day kiss from a big... I know your answer. A big slobbery dog... Or get a Valentine's Day kiss from a camel. I know what you're not picking. Man, I don't think I'd want either one. Because, <laughs> man, a camel can get kind of sloppy too there. So, I don't know. Well, what the key word that's got it for me is slobbery. Yeah. It doesn't say slobbery camel. Now, a camel's tongue would be as big as our head, but it might just be one fell swoop. Whereas a dog is just <laughs> slobbery. Yeah, well, I'd take the camel then. See, yeah. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he not no dog person. He not no slobber person. Put it that way. Yeah. Number six, eat heart-shaped dog treats or eat rose petals. <laughs> I got a story rose about that. Rose petals. <laughs> Well, so when I, you don't even think I've ever told you this. When I was in high school, we went to a party. I don't even know whose house it was. It was just a bunch of us. It was not like no party party. It was just, you know. Well, my friends thought it would be cute to bring me this homemade treat. Oh, look, somebody brought these to the party. Here, have one. So I eat one, and I was a lot nicer back then <laughs> than I am now. I'm really nice now, too. But it was so nasty, but I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. So I was like, mm -hmm, okay, you know. Mm -hmm. They fed me people crackers. You remember people crackers? Yeah. The dog crackers, y'all remember people crackers? They were yeah, dog biscuit that. things shaped like people, and they called them people crackers? Yeah. No, I don't want no dog. <laughs> I don't want no dog biscuits because they are nasty. But I don't want no roses neither because they smell like funerals. So, what'd you pick? Rose petals. <sighs> I'll eat some rose petals with you. Right. <laughs> Number seven, create handmade valentines for your friends or buy valentines at the store for your friends. Well, being you're so well, creative. Well. <laughs> Man. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't give a Valentine to a friend unless they were like my girlfriend or something like that. But I mean, What's her name? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
You, just, you hear it here now you first. Got, now, you give Valentine's to your friends when you're in elementary school. You right. know what I'm saying? Listen, making those but, Valentine boxes was the best fun, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was cool back in them days, but like now that would be harassment, you know. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. If any of you ladies send me a Valentine's card, please don't harass me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Get a load of this one. <laughs> That's a man's point of view. Us old ladies, we don't mind it. I would well, mind well, making. Well, if they don't take it the wrong way, I mean, you could do that. <laughs> but not in these days and times. You can't do that because they. Well, that's true. Everything's took wrong these days. They always jump to conclusions. You know what I'm saying? Everything's took wrong these days. But I would like to make Valentine's. Yeah, that would be um, cool. Yeah, I'd like that. Number eight. Would you rather receive a hundred roses or a hundred pieces of chocolate? Chocolate. hundred pieces of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. A hundred pieces of chocolate. Listen, I love those... Um, what they called you know those boxes the Whitman samplers oh my gosh I love those things you know it's got the in the lid that tells you what the pieces are you know oh my gosh number nine this is the last did I miss a question was there ten questions Tracy did I miss one anyway we're ending it at number nine I don't know if I missed There's one at the bottom. oh okay it's blended together okay Number nine, would you rather have to always write with a red pen or pencil the rest of your life or always have to dot all of your I's and J's with hearts the rest of your life? Mm. I'll pick the hearts. I don't like to do anything that yeah. I can't change. Yeah. <laughs> pen mm. with everything? Yeah, that would be Could tough. you imagine doing all your trucking papers with red ink oh man no, no, they definitely tell us no red ink <laughs> black ink no blue no nothing they picky ain't they yep. listen DOT don't play mm -mm. tell them about that time listen I always got a story for you tell them about that time that that man measured your tires with an ink pen yeah um back this is probably 20 years ago, uh, I was at Scale House in uh, North Carolina and uh, on the other side of Asheville. And they pulled me in and they decided to do a DOT inspection on me. And um, in his big truck. In my big truck, yeah. And so they went to the to the back of the trailer and they got on a creeper and everything and they was doing, you know, the, the major inspection, you know, where they check your brakes and everything. And the guy measured my... Um, slack adjusters with an ink pen and we know what slack adjusters are ladies for you <laughs> that's travel in your brakes so they measure your slack adjusters <laughs> on how far they travel and the point is he used the ink pen he used the ink pen, to measure the ink pen. and not a ruler <laughs> so anyway and he come back to the car holding the ink pen with his thumb like this on how far my slack adjusters were moving. <laughs> That's crazy. And and them to be as particular as they are. Anyway, yep. I just thought that, I just always remember that story. Number 10, now this is the last one. Would you rather receive a very special Valentine's Day gift or give a very special Valentine's Day gift? Well, they say it's better to I give like, than receive. Yeah, I like to give one. I like to get them too. I ain't gonna lie. Why am I, I don't lie. I don't lie, y'all, about all the kind of <laughs> crap I tell y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I like to get a special Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> <laughs> we are not gifty, gifty, sappy, sappy people. So if I do get one, it is special. All right. Well, that is it. Thank you, Tracy, for doing it. Even though I know you still don't feel good. Um, for our Valentine's Day edition, and we will tag Sandy and Jimmy and Edie over Edie's Adventures in WW Weight Loss. So, like they say, tag your it. It's your turn. 
See you on my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.